Once upon a time, in the small town of Bolton, North Carolina, Clarence Hall was born on August 21, 1936. As a young boy, he attended Bolton Elementary School, where he built strong friendships and fostered a love for learning. From 8th to 12th grade, he took a bus seven miles away to attend Armour High School. It was here that Clarence developed a strong work ethic, which eventually saw him graduate in 1955. Seeking to serve his country, Clarence volunteered in the U.S. Army for six months. Upon returning home, he worked alongside his father and his father's partner, Curtis Hickman. Both skilled carpenters, they taught Clarence the intricacies of their trade. Tragically, his father passed away in 1956, at the age of 49, due to a massive heart attack. This event left a significant impact on Clarence, but he continued to work with Curtis for the next two years. In 1958, work slowed down, and Clarence decided to leave Bolton, settling in Baltimore, Maryland. There, he found a job as a carpenter's helper, working for an all-white company. Despite the challenges he faced due to prejudice, Clarence persevered and eventually left the company for a job unloading coal from boxcars onto barges. As winter came to an end, Clarence found himself out of work once again. His brother-in-law, Troy Mott, helped him secure a job at Seal Test Dairy. During this time, Clarence married his high school sweetheart, Ellie Webb, in December 1968. However, he soon lost his job at the dairy and began driving a cab to make ends meet. Driving through Baltimore proved to be a valuable learning experience for Clarence, but he longed for a more stable occupation. He shifted to driving for A.D. Anderson, picking up and delivering cars. Still searching for a better paying job, Clarence spotted an advertisement in the local paper for an oil change and lube position at Montgomery Ward. He applied and was hired, eventually being promoted to an auto mechanic. In 1968, Clarence left Montgomery Ward to open his own auto repair shop. He found great success in this endeavor, and for 36 years, he built a reputation for quality service and genuine care for his customers. In 2004, at the age of 68, Clarence sold his auto repair shop and retired. Now, at the ripe old age of 86, Clarence Hall looks back on his life with pride and contentment. From a young boy in Bolton, North Carolina, to a respected auto mechanic and business owner, Clarence's journey is a testament to hard work, determination, and resilience in the face of adversity, true story.